I feel like you probably get the best person to ask on this is what are some common obstacles people will face if it's like, hey, I want to open up a cat cafe tomorrow, right? Like, are there common obstacles that someone's going to face? And I imagine that's probably going to vary depending on where you're located, right? First of all, you're way too kind. I'm learning so much every day. And I tell people, I said, opening a cat cafe is a great way to lose weight because you're constantly (laughs) thinking about what's going on with the cats and what am I doing? Um, I think the best thing to do for me, especially, is to see where my skill set needs to be augmented. And that means I visited a lot of cat cafes. Um, I went down to Pounce in Charleston and actually met with them to understand a little bit more about cat cafes. I think if somebody has rescue experience, that's an incredible leg up on opening a cat cafe because then you know more about cat behavior. You know more about um, when they may be sick or when they're just stressed and how to augment any sort of issues. The other thing is to just keep asking questions about what it means. There's a great Facebook group for cat cafe owners and we share ideas and I turn to them a lot because I really admire all the cat cafes that are in larger cities that have been around longer, like Cat Town, um, Denver Cat Company has been around longer. Also the ones that are having so many more adoptions. Um, The one in Louisville, Perfect Day Cafe, they've had, I think, 1,200, 1,400 adoptions in the first year. And so I turn to them with advice on things as well. But especially go to your local shelter or rescue group that you may be partnering with and really brainstorm with them. Um, understand their cleaning protocols, understand um, different protocols before a cat's transferred to your care, and really work with them on understanding um, all the ins and outs of animal rescue, because there is a lot to learn, but then there's a lot of satisfaction. 